The king of gaming keyboards is back with the Wooting 80HE, which is an upgrade over their previous version, the Wooting 60HE. Thanks to the wonderful people over at Wooting, I'm able to review this keyboard here for you today. The pricing is as follows. For the plastic PCR version, it is $199.99 and comes in black and a ghost colorway. Then they have a zinc alloy version that goes for $289.99 that is available in black and white. Now the white variant had some issues and that is the one I have here today with their coating on the paint being able to scratch easily and stuff like that. So as of right now you cannot order it, they're going back to the drawing board for that, but the black variant is still available. Before we continue, if you like keyboard content and want to support my channel, consider subscribing as it would help me out a lot. So inside the box you get the keyboard itself, a wire which they strongly advise you use because this keyboard has a higher power consumption draw over your standard mechanical keyboards. You also get adjustable feet, the manual, and a keycap and switch puller. So pretty standard unboxing, but the other cool addition is that the zinc alloy version comes with a very nice travel case as well. The keycap quality is pretty average as the ones that are included are still double shot OEM profile, but they do offer some cherry profile keycaps for an additional $30. Now, if you really care about RGB, then I would say these could be a great option, but if you don't, I would probably look elsewhere and get more unique looking keycaps. The switches included are their Lecker L60 V2s, which are definitely a step in the right direction compared to their version one counterparts. Now, of course, like Hippio said in his video, Hall effect switches tend to sound chattery and not the greatest but at least for these out of the box they are lubes so you don't have to go through that hassle and I was comfortably able to use this keyboard not only for gaming but also for typing something I could not do till this day with my Wooting 60 HE. When it comes to choosing which keyboard case material you should get I believe they both have their pros and cons. For the metal keyboard it is very nice and premium in the hand and it sits very nicely on your desk of course because of that weight and heft to it and overall it does give a more premium look to it as well. The cons is of course that if you are interested in sound signature this one does lean more to the clackier side of things and I do think that also affects the fact that you can hear more of that switch chatter. On the other hand when it comes to the plastic keyboard case of course it is very light and I honestly think it is a bit too light and it is not any high quality plastic so it is very thin and it kind of feels like a toy in my opinion but I do prefer the way it sounds. Here's a quick sound test you guys can hear how they sound. When it comes to the sound signature, like I mentioned before, I do think it is very minimal but the alloy case is more towards that clackier sound signature while the plastic PCR case is more towards that deeper sound signature. For me personally, I do think the plastic is my go-to but I do wish it was higher quality plastic and had a bit more weight to it. Besides the sound profile of this keyboard, when it comes to the feel department, it is a gasket mounted keyboard but it is extremely stiff as well. I don't think the gaskets they are putting into this keyboard are that good or maybe there's just too much foam, not enough space for you to get any flex out of it, but at least it's better than a tray mount as this still gives you that even typing experience no matter how stiff it might be. 
The stabilizers are a concern for me as they went for screw-in stabilizers instead of plate mod stabilizers like they did on their Wooting 60 he And while that is better, it is definitely harder to modify these. So whenever you do screw-in stabilizers, they have to be perfect. And unfortunately, these are not as you could tell in the sound test. They did have some rattle, some tick, and if you were to syringe lube them, that's pretty much all you would be able to do unless you wanted to take apart the whole keyboard, which is a big downside as I would really wish the stabilizers came perfect right out of the box because even keyboards that cost less than half of the price of the Wooting 88G, they still come with perfect stabilizers regardless of the fact that they're screw in or plate mounted. So there is no excuse for Wooting not to do the same. Wooting is still the software king. You know, the software is probably the best in the game as it is very user friendly. No issues on that front. When it comes to the gaming performance, which is what people are mainly buying this keyboard for, I will say in comparison to the Wooting 60HE, I don't really notice that big of a difference. The only big difference is the fact that this one has 8K polling rate while the Wooting 60HE had 1K polling rate. Now, on paper, that sounds like a massive upgrade, but in actual practical usage, I could barely tell a difference. So I think if you own a Wooting 60HE, and you want to upgrade because you prefer the layout or just the design in general, then by all means go ahead. But if you're going to upgrade with the preconceived notion that it is going to be absolutely better for gaming in every way, shape or form because of that 8K Hertz polling rate, then I definitely wouldn't recommend it as it is not as noticeable as you might think. I think in general, Hall Effect keyboards overall won't magically make you a better gamer, but in certain games like rhythm games for example, there is a noticeable difference. But now that more FPS features like SnapTap are getting banned by these gaming companies, the difference in performance between a standard mechanical keyboard and a Hall Effect mechanical keyboard for other games other than rhythm games is not that big. But yeah, overall, I think Wooting has done a great job compared to the Wooting 68G, and while there still might be areas of improvement, I do think it is a step in the right direction. If anybody is interested, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below. Let me know what you guys thought about the Wooting 88G in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.